and they don't even think we deserve the right to use a washroom. What most people consider a basic public infrastructure is a necessity for those living on the streets. All of these people need a place to go to the washroom. Everybody has a biological human need to use the washroom and they need a safe, clean and dignified place to do so. However, due to a lack of city funding, two public bathrooms in Vancouver's downtown east side, one at Pigeon Park and another on East Hastings are at risk of closing. I was flabbergasted when I found out they were going to cut down the toilets. I, it's more so we need more toilets, more garbage cans. Of all things they could take away, a washroom is, is, is a God-given right. The two bathrooms were installed by the city during the pandemic and are run by the Overdose Prevention Society, who says if these facilities were taken away, people will have no choice but go to the bathroom on the streets. When they have to go to the bathroom and there's nowhere to do it, they do it where they are. And that creates, you know, diseases like Giardia and E. coli and Shigella. We clean uh, every day, um, down alleyways, sidewalks, along Chinatown, uh, Hastings Street, and the fecal matter is astounding. Uh, the smell of urine uh, takes my breath away. According to OPS, it costs about $400,000 annually to run the two bathrooms. This includes pay for the attendants who regularly clean and monitor the bathrooms for possible overdoses. In a statement, the city of Vancouver says that senior government funding for the operations is coming to an end and that city staff are working on the next steps. As far as we've heard, the city um, doesn't feel that they're worth continuing to pay for, continuing to fund, um, which is very unfortunate. I, I really believe that these services are incredibly important, and I believe that the city should be funding them ongoing as part of their yearly operating expenses. If additional funding is not allocated, the two bathrooms will be forced to close by July 15th. In Vancouver, Cecilia Hua, City News.